Welcome to Our Own Voice, a partnership in mental health awareness in cooperation with NAMI Wichita and Quezon Community Radio. NAMI is the National Alliance on Mental Illness. We are the largest grassroots advocacy network for people with mental illness and their family members, with over 800 national affiliates and 15 Kansas affiliates, with NAMI Wichita being one of those 15. We provide awareness, support, education, and advocacy for people affected by mental illness. Our purpose here is to provide a community conversation on Quezon Community Radio that provides insight into what it's like to live with mental illness. Our intention and hope is that our program will change attitudes, assumptions, and stereotypes about people with mental health conditions. My name is David Larson. I am pleased and proud to be your host today, and I am a person with mental illness. I am in recovery for major depressive disorder. Like everyone, I struggle with the ups and downs of emotions and the challenges of being fully human, but I am doing okay, and I know I have many gifts to offer my family, my friends, and my community. And it is my pleasure to introduce our guest for today, Cece. Hello, Cece. Hello. It's good to have you here. Thank you. So, Cece, let's begin by uh, asking you, where did you grow up? I was grew up in Wichita, Kansas. Okay, so you're you're a homebred uh, country girl, right? Yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, about what quadrant did you grow up, or or what school did you go to? What I, high school? I what went, high school? I went to Campus High School for two years. Campus. Okay. Then I turned around and went to Southeast, and I got married when I was junior in high school. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Yep. So. Um, uh, what is your diagnosis? I'm bipolar one, and I am um, the um, I can't think of the other one. Okay, it's the one you cut on yourself. Okay, uh, OCD or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, uh, we're not sure. Not that's, sure. That's that's fair enough. Uh, about how old were you when you were diagnosed? Two thousand five. Two thousand five. Yeah. Okay. So it's been a while. Um, yeah. So, um, so what what was life for, life like for you um, bef- before you were diagnosed? What was happening in your life? I um, lost my children, and it was really rough on me. But I didn't. My mother had my kids, and I didn't know what to do. But in 2005, I just decided to jump off a building and slice my arms and stuff. But I went to Good Shepherd and got some help. That's good. So yes. I packed my own bags and stuff and went to um, told my husband I was going to go to Good Shepherd to get some help. So um, that's what I did, and I got help. I was there for a week and got some medicine, but the doctor gave me the wrong medicine, so I found me, got my husband's doctor and got help. So I got back on track. Haven't been back. I have not been back to Good Shepherd since 2005. That is fantastic. Yeah. And not only that, but that shows you had some inner strength to to check yourself in. Yes. Uh, not everyone is willing to to check themselves in. Well, no. A lot of people won't even admit that they got a problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and you had the foresight that you saw that you had a problem, and you were able to rise above it. Yeah. That is tremendous. Because that is very tremendous. If I didn't do, if I didn't get myself help, I wouldn't had. I mean, if I'd have killed myself, I wouldn't. My kids wouldn't be. be they wouldn't see their mom, so I had to go get myself help. Exactly. So yeah, kids are so, more important. Yes, the kids are more important, and, and it's wonderful that you saw that within within your life. Yeah. So um, have you have you had good support from your husband and, and from family? Well, I have a sister and a brother used to work with homeless people, uh-huh. and he used to work with them. Um, um, with mental illness people, they understand it. The rest of my family, they don't because I told them I'm in recovery, and they says there's not no recovery. Oh. But my brother and my sister, they understand because they know how much I've changed. Yeah, they 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 don't the the ones that who don't understand don't understand that recovery is an ongoing process. Yeah, they it's, don't. It's they don't not an in end it. point. They, it's not that you're cured. And right. that you never have problems ever again in your life. It's that it's an ongoing battle it's a, to, yeah. to, 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 keep continue, to 
keep yourself together. And, exactly. yeah. and you have been able to rise above it, yeah. and you've been able to to conquer over it in that yeah. regard. You yeah. should be so proud of yourself. That's wonderful. That yeah. is tremendous. My sister, every time she brings me a puppy, if my dog dies, she brings me another one. He's my support at the house. What kind That's, of dog is it? He's a mutt. <laughs> <laughs> Best kind of dog. Yes, so that's her are. coping, one of her coping skills. Yeah, that is her, one her, of her coping. Her skills. little coping buddy. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what's his name? His name's Coco. Coco. Yeah. Okay. He's real is, he, good. is this a brown dog? No. No. Not not why a brown you, dog. Why would you not call a dog that's not brown Coco? Because well, my friend, my sister's friend, she had a lot of dogs, and they were going to put him to sleep. Oh. And my sister says, no, you're not putting him to sleep. I will take him to my sister, and she will love on him, and she will she will appreciate him. I she, see. I love animals. I like dogs. So that's my support. <laughs> that is awesome. Yes. All right. Well, um, let's go ahead and take a break now, okay. and we will be right back with our own voice. Okay. Welcome back to Our Own Voice, a partnership in mental health awareness in cooperation with NAMI Wichita and Kaysen Community Radio. NAMI is the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Our Own Voice is intended to humanize a misunderstood, highly stigmatized topic of mental illness by showing that it's possible and common to live well with a mental health condition. So, um, Cece, uh, we were talking sort of uh, at uh, break time as to what we would talk about now. And um, since we just mentioned stigma, let's talk about Project Independence because you participate with Project Independence and they are sort of an anti-stigma zone, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tell us, what do you do at Project Independence? Um, I go down there and visit my friends. Okay. And... I play activities with them, like tonight we're having bingo, Christmas bingo. Then we have White Elephant tonight. Okay. And then take us every night from 5, 5.15 until about 6.15, we go to the Lord's Diner. They take us down there. Okay. And they, um, I'm on the board down there now. I'm oh, at, okay. Yeah, I'm on the board down there. We so. do We do that every Tuesday, last Last Tuesday of the month, but in December we don't. We take a month off for, for December. Okay. And I try to come down there with you guys, not me sometimes. Uh -huh. I was going to go today, but I have some other things to do. All but right. I'll be back next Tuesday, I mean next month. But And I, I sit around and visit my friends or sit down. We sit down there and watch TV or just visit friends. Okay. And one of the things about a mental illness that is very prevalent is isolation, right? That's right. Yes. And there's, there's, it's known uh, a known factor that when somebody gets depressed, a lot of times what they want to do is just go to the bedroom and lay down and sleep. Yeah. Forever. And, and right? they just want to isolate themselves and right. pull themselves away from people. So what she's talking about is interacting with people who have some of the same conditions. And it really is very, very helpful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you are actually being proactive, and you're helping yourself by being around other people. Mm -hmm. And, and you helping them, too. Yeah, and you mentioned that, that they're your friends. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I'll go sit in a room by myself Okay. because okay. I have certain reasons I do that. Mm -hmm. Because okay. I meditate myself. Well, yeah, meditation is yeah. A, that's a great wonderful. coping skill. Yeah, and, yeah, that that leads us into a wonderful topic of coping skills. So, yeah. so meditation is is one of your coping skills. Mm -hmm. What what other coping skills do you have? Well, I I go walk my dog a lot at home. Excellent. And I sometimes I'll stay home for two days. At okay. Home, but that's the most time I stay home. All right. But if I had surgery like I do with my knees, I, that's an excuse to be home. Yeah. And um, and sometimes I get out and be with other people, too. Okay. Meet, meet other people, too. All so right. But you always have little Coco with you, right? 
when he we out walking. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's that's the coping skill right there. That <laughs> is, yes. Little yeah. doggy. Yeah. But if I didn't have a dog, I'd be lost. <laughs> yeah, and that, see, that's exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, that 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 dog is is your therapy. Mm-hmm. That is good. That I, is I, excellent. I remember seeing a bumper sticker on someone's car that said, "My therapist has a wet nose." <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah, that is. And and yeah. I have to agree with that. Sometimes a dog or a cat or an animal of whatever kind yeah. can be the best therapist for but, you. But you know why? Is because they're so non-judgmental. That's exactly it. They, yeah. they, because they carry no stigma towards you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, back to you that know. whole topic of stigma. They they are very anti-stigma. That's yeah. right. Very, mm-hmm. very, very. But see, I I have another friend, a girlfriend of mine. She goes, you know, if he makes a mess, you got to punish him. I said, you know what? I don't punish my dog. If he makes a mess, he makes a mess. I'll clean it up. Life goes on. That's right. So. That makes sense. Yeah. So. Well, uh, you know, I mean, would she have said the same thing if you had a child? <laughs> yeah. Know, children make messes too. Exactly. That's not. Yeah. So. So. So anyway. Um, but, so. You know, I do stuff. I mean, we do. I mean, we volunteer stuff around there and we get points at Project too. Oh, really? But, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What what like what things do you volunteer for? I do sometimes. I don't do it all the time. <laughs> but I clean sometimes I'll clean their bathroom, sometimes I'll do the trash. It depends how my knees feel. Okay. Right. But because I'll she do, has some physical impairments because of they the knee surgeries. That, you know, but uh-huh. they they understand, but I do it sometimes. If I'm in a real good mood, I'll do six things a night. Wow. Now, now, what does it cost to uh, to be a member down at Project? Independence? All you got to do is do an application. An application. And okay. You come down there three times, do the application, and they read some stuff to you, what the rules and stuff is. Okay. Yeah. So, All right. So, a, um, but they, I think they, they'll take like a dollar for... Um, a dollar fifty for dues. For dues. And ten dollars okay. for rides. And ten dollars for rides. That's it. That's then you have to, Then you get two bus tickets. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I want to jump back for a moment, something that I didn't get to do last time. Uh, I want to do a big thank you to our production team, David Peterson, who's our executive producer. Thank you, David. You're welcome. And Mike Padilla for being our technical producer. Thank that's you, that Mike. Other, that's that other mystery voice you hear on occasion. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Mike, for, for being our technical producer. No, no, no. Thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> this is Our Own Voice on Kaysom Community Radio, and we are going to be right back and take a quick break. If you would like to learn more about the National Alliance on Mental Illness and how you can get involved in mental health advocacy, please visit our website at NAMI.org. Welcome back to Our Own Voice, a partnership in mental health awareness in cooperation with NAMI Wichita and Kaysen Community Radio. NAMI is the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Now, Cece, before the break, we were talking about Project Independence. And now let's switch gears and talk about Breakthrough, because you also participate with the Breakthrough Club community, don't you? Mm Mm-hmm. All right. How long have you been going to Breakthrough? Since 1998. Since 1998. That is tremendous. Uh, Someone else is going to have to do the math for me, because my brain can't think that fast. That's 20 years. That's 20 years. (laughs) That is phenomenal. That is wonderful. So so, um, uh, what do you do at the Breakthrough Club? Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> right. But um, sometimes, because of your knees, you can't always do whatever you want to do, right? Well, I do pretty much everything over there. Okay. okay. So um, you help with the meals? Yeah. And you help with the cleanup? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Um, what, I can uh, tell that's not her favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> possibly not. But you know what? What? If you have to clean your own house... You have to do the same things there, too. That All makes right. sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. what, called responsibility? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, exactly. So, because if you don't clean your own house, you're not going to be able to do other things out in the community. True. Yeah. True, true, true. So have you, excuse me for interrupting, have you done any of their transitional employment? 
I used to a long time ago. Yeah. I used to work at Dillon's, be a, um, uh, what do you call them? A uh, checker. A sacker. A sacker. I used to prep food at Chili's. Um, I used to work at Hobby Lobby, a janitor. That's the only three I remember. <laughs> That's excellent, But though. before I came to Break Two Club, when I was a senior in high school at Southeast, we used to have to have a job before you came back to work, I mean, back to school. Mm. Oh, really? I used to work at Wendy's up here on Harry and... I used to work at every Wendy's in Wichita, Kansas. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes. With these bad needs of mine before surgeries. Wow. That's tremendous. Yes. But you you survived and you worked through that. It was rough. It was, <laughs> yes. So um, now besides doing the um, the activities, the the help out uh-huh. with uh, with things at Breakthrough, mm-hmm. there's also classes and stuff that they have. What are some classes that you've taken at Breakthrough? I've taken their smoking class. Okay. I've done that three or four times. All right. I've taken their anger management classes three or four times. Okay. I've done a few of their classes. <laughs> okay. So have many you, times. Have you done the computer class? No. You haven't? Not okay. yet. So not yet. That's a good attitude. That- because I got a, a laptop at home. I was going to talk to David. I was going to get with David to help me get a, um, try to get the computer running. I got to get a cord for it, the mm. right um, computer for it. I mean, a power cable. Yeah. Uh-huh. And um, get that started so I can learn how to work on a computer. Mm-hmm. Get that working. Excellent. Now, have have you done any of the office work, like the um, the typing in attendance, or I've done that a lot of that. Okay. Um, and let's see what other. I've answered phones. Answered phones. Okay. Shredding. I've done shredding. Shredding. I've done okay. a lot of stuff over there. You have. That's mm-hmm. tremendous. Yeah. And you have you have persevered and, and you know survived through all that. And I've been homeless five times. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. And you still have, have been able to get through all that stuff. Mm-hmm. You are. I a... go to two churches. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell us about the churches that you attend. I go to um, City of Life Church. Okay. And I go to church on the street, but not right now until it warms up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I do. Yeah. All right. I've been going to City of Life. First, it was First Baptist Church. I've been going there since 2010. And I go to see the life sometimes. I go to a lot of places now. Help, okay. I mean, help myself. Yeah, that's, that's exactly that's what excellent you need because, to do. Because, because along with being around people and being in community and having relationship mm-hmm. with people, mm-hmm. um, it also helps to have a relationship with a higher power. Uh-huh. And that can give you strength and encouragement as yeah. well. I tell you what, being on the streets five times, I had to have Lord's Prayer because, man, it was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, it could be tough, couldn't it? Yes. Very yeah. Tough. Well, so um, what else can we talk about? Um, uh, I, I know that that breakthrough has activities uh, out in the community. Does Project Independence do that as well? Um, no. No, they. The they, only ones they go to sometimes. I mean, if they get enough people, is um, state fair. Oh, okay. So they they may go to the state fair once in a while. Yeah, they do that. That's good. All right. If they got the money and stuff. So. But isn't it all about you becoming independent and living on your own and taking care of yourself? Isn't that kind of what the program is all about? For me, it is. Ah, okay. See. Okay. Excellent. I like being independent. So. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Control, control of your own destiny and your, your own uh, situation. Yeah, because I have a nurse started this in December. They... Um, they come to my. I have a nurse comes to my house every December now. It started this year. They come over and check on me. I have a regular nurses and stuff, but I have another nurse comes to my house every December now and they check on me. I see. Okay, well, this is our own voice on Case on Community Radio, and we will be taking a quick break. Break and be right back.
Welcome back to Our Own Voice, a partnership in mental health awareness and cooperation with NAMI Wichita and Kaysen Community Radio. NAMI is a national alliance on mental illness. So, David, um, we didn't get a chance before the, the break for you to give us that wonderful number, but you have a special number for us that people can call if they want to find out more information about NAMI Wichita and what NAMI Wichita does. I definitely do, and it's 316-686-1373, 316-686-1373, and that's an answering service, so please call us. We'll get back with you as soon as possible, but what we will visit with you about, if you call, is how we can be of help. Uh, NAMI is a nonprofit organization that we want to help, We whether we're a person with mental illness or a family that has someone in it with a mental illness. We want to support both those groups. And it's, Nami, I can't say enough about it, is basically we want to be aware, we want to advocate, we want to educate and support. And support, and above all else, is to reduce the stigma of mental illness. That's right. And maybe if if you have a challenge of yourself or someone in your family, please call us. We don't have all the answers, but we will be able to support you for sure. And we do have support groups, both what we call peer to connections group, which is for peers or those who are consumers, those right. with with a mental well, health condition. And we also have support groups for those family members and 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 when we say family members we're not talking about just family members we're also talking about friends mm -hmm. um, because there are friends of people who have a mental health condition mm -hmm. and they need to know how to deal with it they need to know how to get support for it exactly um, so that's one way that we can do that and, right yes and those support groups uh, are every third Tuesday of the month and we we hope uh, that we can be of assistance to you. We have a, a, a first Tuesday of the month meeting, which we always have somebody come in and speak to us, and it's very informative. Uh, and then also we have Ask a Doctor, which has become really one of our favorite programs, where before the support groups on the third Tuesday of the month, a KU psychiatrist uh, comes in and, and gets answers a lot of questions. So we have a lot of ways to help educate and become more aware of mental illness. Yes, and there are some other ways to contact us besides that number, which was 316-686-1373 or 316-686-1373. Um, keep hammering it down there. Uh, but you can also uh, email us at info at namiwichita.org or go to www.namiwichita.org and you can also search for NAMI Wichita on the, um, the Facebook. Uh, or, or NAMI you Wichita could just Google Kansas. NAMI, couldn't you? You yes, probably you could. could, yes. <laughs> I bet you get the answers. And if you, you get the national, you can get, they'll find you get the a national. location. Yeah, That's, they'll find a yeah. location. So. And then the national yeah. is nice and simple. It's just NAMI.org. Right, right, right. So, well, uh, Cece, um, we were talking about uh, your uh, – participation with Breakthrough Club and with Project Independence. Um, how about we give a shout out to Darla mm -hmm. and to Renee. Yeah. And are we forgetting anybody uh, besides I, Darla and Renee? I bet we are. I'm I'm not quite sure who though. Uh -huh. uh, but but Darla and Renee are both um, helpers and leaders in Project Independence. Yeah. And um, and I have to apologize to the Project Independence people if I'm forgetting you and you are a, a helper leader. Um, please forgive me. And let us know you can be on the show. Yeah, <laughs> let us know. We will definitely have you on the show. Well, Cece said she's on the board. How many's on the board there, Cece? Um, Is it four or five? Or? Oh no, there's more than that. Okay. There, I think there's like nine or ten on this. Okay. Well. Wow. But. It's all people working together to make the project independence move more smoothly. Yeah. Renee's on it. <laughs> yeah, Renee. Yeah. Um, uh, I know Darla because Darla is also big with NAMI, as Renee is. They both uh, yeah. participate within NAMI. Mm -hmm. 
and um, and uh, they have both been uh, peer-to-peer yeah. leaders uh, yeah. for the peer-to-peer class, as well as the um, uh, Darla has done in her own voice presentations yeah. with me. So um, those are also programs, again, free programs from NAMI. So, and so CC, can you ta- can you? Can you tell people out there if they if they're reluctant to try and get a hold of 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 us here that are trying to help you? Can you tell them how to get over the hump and just call? Get over here, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to do it. That's yeah. the best way to do that it. Come on, people, get your booties over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, that is wonderful. <laughs> Well, so we've, we've talked about Project Independence, we've talked about Breakthrough Club, we've uh, talked to, we've been talking with Cece about, um, about her diagnosis, about uh, all that she has been dealing with, her coping skills, um, her, she has, she has Coco, her dog, as well as meditation, and so thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you again. Ha, ha, ha.